Hey guys, Mio Excuto. So we are three days out. I'm gonna be doing a little talk, not three days out, sorry. Four or three? Four days out. One of the two. I'm a little depleted right now. Um, got my meal here. As you guys can see, chicken breast, mixed veggies, a little, oh, uh, I should warm this up a bit more. I'm gonna add some salt to that, nothing too crazy. Keep the routine the same, that's what I recommend. Um, as well, I got my shakes here. And we are good to go. So I'm going to be doing a little talk. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, if you do, please comment, let me know. Um, leave a like. It's the littlest thing, guys. And it helps me a ton. So on to the talk. Okay, guys. So what does it mean to compete? Uh, well, from my experience, I started competing as an 18-year-old. Um, I, I did a natural show here in Canada. I'm still competing in natural shows at the age of 20 years old now. I compete in about eight competitions, uh, some succeeding, some not succeeding, um, experimenting, trying different diets. So it, it, it really requires a lot of dedication. And that dedication is not just, you know, okay, I'm going to eat the right meals. Okay, I'm going to do the workouts. Okay, I'll do the cardio. That dedication is life. Life is still there. Uh, family's still there. Friends are still there. Relationships are still there. So, um, the training, the cardio, the food, it's its laid out. It, it, it's, it, it literally is. You know what you have to do. Like You have to be in a caloric deficit. You have to do this many minutes of cardio. You have to train five, six times a week. But it doesn't lay out You know what happens if a family member you know gets sick or gets hurt or a relationship you have to balance out and friends you have to see um, but you're feeling tired because you don't have that much food in your system um there's school you have tests coming up you have to study um work if you have to work 12 hour shifts 10 hour shifts five hour shifts um whatever type of work it may be if it's labor there's those factors that a lot of people do not take into consideration. Those are probably the biggest factors I found um, to be when it comes to competing. Uh, when it comes to actually doing the diet, doing the workouts, doing the cardio, the, the hardest thing I personally would say is the cardio and the nutrition. First off, the nutrition is 24 hours. It's very easy to snack on anything because you have 24 hours of the day to literally, you see something you can just put in your mouth and you're good. And that's extra calories on your total caloric intake for that day. Um, the cardio, it tapers up and you have to do it in order to lose weight. Not necessarily you have to do it, but if you're competing and you want to get it really cut down physique, cardio is going to be a really huge benefit if you want to really strike your muscles. Um, on top of that, the training is not so bad. You know, if you only have to train for an hour, which I, if you're cutting down, you don't have to do long training periods. Usually the intensity is fairly high. So 45 minutes, 30 minutes, all the way up to an hour, an hour and 15. So the training is nothing compared to eating food, um, doing your cardio, especially eating food because eating food is 24 seven. So, I mean, what it takes to compete is dedication what it takes to compete is a balanced lifestyle whatever it is it is your balance is um family friends relationships that's what you have to look at and you have to make sure you do not take that away from your prep from you at yourself as an individual because that's what's going to be there after this prep the prep is a challenge it just gives you a challenge to see how far you could push yourself so if you're able to surpass this prep and living life the way you want to live it that's going to be your biggest biggest goal and that's going to tell whether you are disciplined whether you're determined because again guys all this prep stuff I know I'm saying it, it's, e it's not easy, it's still not easy, but it's the easiest part compared to life. Uh, you still got school, you still got work, you still got family, you still got friends, you still got relationships. So do not cancel those things out just because you're on a prep. Um, if they are the right, the, the right people there for you, they will be supportive no matter what you do. But you never want to cut them out of your life because you're doing a competition, because you're doing a prep. Uh, you want the support and you want to give the support back. Um, don't change who you are, guys. Uh, be 100% with yourself. Um, and with a prep, it, it takes a lot. So all the respect to anybody that goes through a prep. I mean, I've been through it eight times now. Um, it, it's hard every time. Uh, you become stronger every time and you learn new things. Um, but it 
takes a really strong individual and mind, no matter what age or who you are, whether you're 40, 30, or 20, everyone's going through some type of struggle. Um, it just really does take a strong individual. So if you plan on doing a prep, be prepared. Do not cut out the people that are most closest to you. Do not um, be closed off. Um, do not be rude, firstly, to other people because, you know, especially athletes, we're all going through the same thing. We're all going through the same prep. So it would be nice to see um, athletes backstage, especially at really any show, being supported, taking pictures together because we all underwent our own journey. Um, it's a you versus you battle. So what you bring is what the judges will ultimately place you. So if they want to place you first, they will place you first. If they want to place you second, they will place you second. So at the end of the day, it's a you versus you battle. You're not going to be, you know, knocking off somebody by, you know, doing a magic trick or something. Um, just bring your best. Try your best. This is a journey. Um, if you are going through a prep, I wish you the best of luck and just push through it, guys, because every single day matters. Every single second matters. And... If you do the right things every single day, then tomorrow will be a better day. So, um, yeah, that was my little spiel. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any more questions or you want me to talk about something else, please leave it in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below. Guys, subscribe if you want to see more content. But other than that, I want you all to get Aesthetic Bra.